Hi, this is Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to test the thermal fuse on your dryer to see if it is good or bad. A dryer thermal fuse is a safety fuse that blows if the dryer has overheated. When the fuse blows, it can cause the dryer to stop heating or to stop running altogether. If you find that you have a blown thermal fuse, make sure to address why the dryer has overheated to prevent the fuse from blowing again. Common things that can cause the dryer to overheat are clogged exhaust venting, lint buildup inside the dryer, a shorted heating element, and more. Here I have a few different style thermal fuses. All of these can be tested in the same manner. Before you can test the fuse, you'll need to unplug the dryer and disconnect the wires going to the fuse. To test the fuse, you will need to use a multimeter to do a continuity test. If your multimeter has the option, Turn the meter to the continuity setting. Place one of each of the meter's probes on each of the fuse's wire terminals. If the fuse is good, you will hear an audible beeping noise. And if the fuse is bad, the meter will not make any noise. These three fuses are good. and this fuse is bad. If your multimeter does not have a continuity setting, then you can also use the ohm setting to do a continuity test. If you have an auto-ranging multimeter, then turn it to the ohm setting. If you have a manual ranging multimeter, then you'll need to set the meter to the lowest ohm setting. Touch each of the two probes together on your meter. If the fuse has continuity, your meter should display a reading close to this. Place one of each of the probes on each of the fuse's wire terminals. If the fuse is good and has continuity, you should get a low ohm reading close to your baseline. If the display on the meter does not change, or if your ohm reading is far off from this, then you have a bad fuse. If you find that you have a bad thermal fuse and you need to purchase a new one, you can purchase one from our online store by clicking the link in the description below. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more appliance repair videos. And if you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below. You can also stay up to date by liking us on our Facebook page and following us on Twitter.